Hi guys, it's Jay. So today I'd like to talk to you guys about hygiene, specifically in the kitchen. I mean, is it really hard to just put away the dishes or to clean the washing up bowl or, I don't know, not leave raw meat on the counter? I mean, if anything, like, chicken is expensive. But seriously, I just went into the kitchen now and there's like a line of dirty dishes that need to be washed up and I had to sweep them aside just like to make a sandwich. I've tried to tell them we need to like clean up, otherwise it's <coughs> gonna be- Oh my goodness! Ra are you okay? There's a rat in the kitchen! So, we've officially got rats in our kitchen. We had to tell the guy who works at our student village. You should have seen the look on his face. I think it was part, I'd heard it before, and part, I'm gonna judge you for the rest of eternity, with a smidge of pity. So while the cleaners are de-ratting our kitchen, we've taken refuge in my room. I've no idea what they're using to get rid of the rats, but it smells disgusting. Not much worse than it did before, to be honest, though. True. We need to organize like, a group clean or something. Yeah, I swear, Taylor does nothing, and Ru- Um! What? What were you gonna say? You were about to say her name, weren't you? Oh, come on, it's been six weeks! I've been living with her for six weeks, and I don't know her name! She told us not to tell you. Seriously? Well, it's kind of funny. What was your last guess? Alvina. Who do you know who's called Alvina? So, in other news, Meredith has got like a huge debate coming up next week, like proper huge. <laughs> Something like 500 people are going and our Meredith is leading <laughs> me against side. This house believes we should strive for immortality, but we shouldn't. It's fair for us to live out our lives happily rather than trying to reach for something that is not in our nature to have. Oh, it's so hard though. The other team are great, so it's not really an easy win. It's just so stressful. Well, you're working really hard, and you're going swimming every day. Yeah, well, the swimming's relaxing. Jews and I off though. Well, why don't we have one tonight? I mean, it's not exactly like we can use the kitchen. We could stay in here, order a pizza, watch a film. Sounds good. <laughs> Been so busy lately, doing nothing. Sounds amazing. And we can never have too much pizza. <laughs> pizza maybe, but too much porridge will drown the town. I really don't get you sometimes. So what film do you guys want to watch? I mean, oh, sorry. Oh, it's Brendan, he wants to go out tonight. I'm just telling him you're busy. Yeah, but I'm busy the past week. I want you to go out for the weekend. No, Meredith, I mean, you're shattered. You're so tired and you've been working on this, on this debate the whole of your free time. I mean, just tell him you're busy. I'm sure you'll get it. What? Brendan doesn't want me going to the debate. Why? He left it too late to get a ticket, so we can't come now. So he doesn't want you to go because he can't come and watch? He doesn't like the fact that it keeps me busy, and neither do I really. I mean, I love it, but not enough to set my boyfriend up every night of the week. Well, just explain to him. I'm sure he'll get it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. What movie? I'm not in the mood for anything too serious. Uh, we can check Netflix for comedy. Sounds good. Oh, how about... Thanks. Brendan, we should go out with you guys. I'm sorry. Boys suck. A bit of a generalised statement. Well, I get your point. I went to visit my gran the other day, and there's this guy that works there, and every time I walk past, they kept wolf whistling me. Oh, are you okay? Of course. I'm alright. I just really annoying. <laughs> Looking at me like I was a slab of meat. <sighs> Meredith will be okay though. Brendan's really nice. I've met him a few times. He's really sweet. He only wants to spend time with her. Mm, an infestation of another kind. Jay. What? <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a great week. See ya.